Alright guys, welcome back to Party Cat Plays. Again, we're uh, we're we're in satisfactory. Um, I really did just start right back up, so it's just another file. Um, let's go ahead and see if we have enough screws to unlock part assembly. Oh yeah. We totally do. So let me grab these, get part assembly going. And then I'll grab my research materials, and I'll get some stuff undone. Right. I might cut this episode short, because the last one ran um, so long, but... Ah! Honestly, it was, only, it was only a few minutes over, so not a big deal. Right? You guys don't mind. Not that I think anybody's actually watching this yet, but, you know, I'm trying. All right. Ooh. Five minutes for another hand slot? Yes, please. Let me see what I can do first, but I'm going to go ahead and grab the wire that I need now. Oh, and I need to grab the rest of my research materials. Jar. In here. And possibly over here. Okay. There we go. Alright, let's see what I can do now. Actually. I think I'll put the personal storage box for research. Right here. That'll be better. Alright, alien organisms. Five minutes for that? What else can I unlock? Uh... Those all require stuff I don't have. Ah, three seconds for Guterium. Yeah, we're gonna do that. Okay. For that, I need 50 of those. So, I'm just gonna put a smelter in. Guterium, Guterium, there we go. Because I don't need Guterium ore for anything else, research wise. So that'll be really good. Get that unlocked. Um, that's not practical to unlock yet. I need more screws for that. Whoa. What? Um, oh, we ran out of fuel. So, yeah. Okay. I was gone just long enough. Goodness. Let's get these all filled back up. These two should still have some left, yeah. There we go. Um, oh, and there we go. That'll be good. All right. So I've got the power going again. You're going away. Um, oh, I need wire for something. I don't know what, but I don't care. I probably need cable for stuff too. So let's see here. There's that. There's that. Oh, I needed more screws for something I was going to research. That's right. Okay. So, let's grab some more screws really quick. Let's just do a whole stack. There we go. Alright. Let's see what I can unlock. Okay. Alright. Alright. Get back over here. Is there anything? I don't think there is anything. Not without some more alien. Oh. Five minutes? Alright, I'm gonna wait on that. Don't have enough Guterium for that. That's gonna take five minutes as well. Three seconds. There we go. Right. Um, these medicinal inhalers are great. 
once you can build them, they fully replenish your health from just one grab, so that's nice. Um, okay. There we go, three minutes. And not enough quartz to do anything else, that's fine. So, let's get overclock production going. And then look at what else I need. Wire and carapace. Deuterium. Okay. Okay, so a lot of this stuff I can put back. I don't need these. I don't need these. I don't need that. Don't need mycelium. Don't need the quartz with that. There we go. Oh, and I can't do anything with the yellow power slug yet. Okay, cool. So now, I'll go ahead and make... There we go. So here are the power shards. Since I don't need any more green slugs, I might as well make them. And there they are. Um, and the way they work... Am I coming over here? Oh. Um, grab all that stuff back, because I'll need it. Um, so the way the power slugs work... Uh, once I... Okay, I have to finish unlocking overclocking. Should I go get some more Caterium? Nah. Let's, let's get part assembly going. I have plenty of screws. Let's grab them. Check on my wire, see if I can make the, um, space elevator. Mm. Grab the extra wire from in here. And I can build the space elevator. Okay. I need to put it on a wide, flat area. Um, it will probably get moved. But this thing is freaking massive. And I want to make sure... Yeah, that should do it. This thing is freaking huge. There's the base. And then if we watch. This thing is massive. All right. Thing is so cool. And there it is. It's fully upset. It's fully installed. Alright, now I just need to get down there without hurting myself. Uh, here. There we go. And then we need 50 of these plates. We can load those and send them up to unlock tier 3 and 4. But again, we're not going to do that yet. Because we, um, I'm playing this a little bit differently. I'm actually stepping through uh, each of the um, unlockables kind of one at a time. Normally I kind of rush through, um, but I want to really, you know, take my time. Milestone reached. More complex assembly of parts can now be automated. Project assembly parts can now be constructed and sent up via the space elevator. Note, project parts are too complex to produce by hand. So, um, looks like I already have the materials to unlock the next thing, which is obstacle clearing, but I'm going to need an assembler here soon, to, or at least two of them, one making rotors and one making reinforced iron plates, 
Um, and so now is when I usually break out the calculator and stop doing these little side paths. Um, but we'll, you know, we'll see how things go. So, in order to do that, I need to make some stuff. Need eight rotors. And... 16 reinforced iron plates. So, um, yeah. Uh, the mam is finished, so. So, oh, overclock reduction. So now I can slow and raise the speed of buildings but so normally this building takes five megawatts of power let's slow it down to half speed now it's only pulling 1.6 so it doesn't the power use doesn't scale linearly um so just taking it to 150 percent gets me to 9.6 megawatts nearly double to go half again as fast so it's imperative that I'm really careful with that. Um, which is why I'm actually going to pop over here really quick because this guy, yeah, only needs 45 per minute, but it's getting 60. So I'm going to slow one of these to half production. Um, and that should... Not only will that use less power, right? Because I'm using 1.6 instead of 5 megawatts of power to run that. But that also means that I'm just putting enough in to keep it working. So that's really helpful. Alright. Um, oh, that's right. I was going to unlock a few other things. Like... Oh, I don't have enough wire now for the hand slot. No, well, that's okay. Um, oh. I should be able to do the color gun still, right? Yeah. Yeah, that'll be good. Okay. And then I'll make my reinforced iron plates. Okay, now I can build two assemblers up here. I may have to build more um, constructors to make more things. So I'm going to start with the assembler that is making the reinforced iron plates. Because right now the only building that needs rotors are the assemblers. I have to be careful because... Eventually, we're still good. Oh, nope, there we go. Okay, so right here. Good here. Nope, oh, nope, oh, not good here. Okay, we have to be kind of careful because that poison gas is, is pretty nasty stuff. And I'm intentionally standing right on the edge because I kind of want to map where the problems are. Okay. 
Okay, we're good here. Yeah, so I, I won't bore all of you with this, but I will eventually have a ring of platforms all the way around this thing. The idea being that I can then wall it off and not have to worry about blundering into where it's going to try to kill me. So, um, But I'm not sure how many screws and stuff I really need to make production work. And there are calculators online, I might show you that later, but... For now, I just want to get one in, and even if it's not running it at, you know, full production. Alright, so reinforced iron plates take 60 screws per minute. Okay. And each one of these makes, what, 40? Okay. So I might as well put in the second one. Anyway, and find out what I need for rotors. So I kind of want to. Oh, never mind. Don't have enough concrete. Okay, so rotors. How many screws do you need? A hundred per minute. So I need 160 screws per minute. That's four of these. Okay. Right. Oh goodness, I am completely out of concrete. Okay. Um, that's fine. Hello? Uh, what? Okay, so something weird just happened with the, my mouse, so I'm going to go ahead and um, stop this episode for a minute, and we'll be back in just a bit. Oh. Oh. Okay. Never mind. Tilde, don't hit it. Okay, let's get these powered. I'm sure I'm going to have to build more power, too. And for now, I'll just hook that up there. Okay. Okay, I don't really need any of that, but I definitely, definitely need some reinforced iron plates. I'll be looking on power. So our max consumption is 15 megawatts over capacity. Okay, so I am absolutely going to need obstacle clearing so I can unlock the better fuel, but in the meantime, we'll go ahead and build up some plates. Um, I think I'm going to let things run a little bit off camera. Um, screw it. This will eventually run out of um, iron plates. And let's actually slow it down to there we go that should slow it down to where it's just taking all of the screws that are being fed into it yeah okay so in a splitter here. There we go. So now the 30 rods that I'm making are actually being split three ways. 
Or, well, no, they're being split in half. So, I'm about to do something really, 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 really janky. Alright, so, now this splitter is actually splitting the rods three ways. Three go in, one goes out each direction. And since I need 20 over there for the screws... There we go. Now, I am actually making enough screws to both satisfy this machine and make some for myself. Although, honestly, I really need to unlock obstacle clearing, so let's go unlock that. I think I have everything I need. No, concrete. Need concrete. Which I probably have enough by now. Let's hitch a ride. Oh yeah. 1400 concrete. I think I have enough. Alright, let's go unlock obstacle clearing. And then I'm actually going to shut down production for a second. And I'll show you why. Doot, doot. Uh, yep. Right. Select the next one. Jump pads. Milestone reached. Which I don't usually wind up using, but of biomass burners. To aid in biofuel production, you are now capable of removing foliage that consists primarily of wood. Additionally, R and D inflated your pocket dimension. Oh yeah. All of you guys back in. Then... Hmm. Hmm. I think... Ah, I see. There we go. I really just want to have one connection between... Actually, you know what? While I'm here, I might as well rebuild these. Lizard doggo. Okay. Out. That one out. That one out. We'll hook up. Do. Okay. Right, so. One there. One here. Now what I need is another constructor here, because we are going to start making solid biofuel, and we're going to reduce that to half speed. We're going to go ahead and switch this one over to wood. Okay. Right? Oh, wait a minute. Oh. Okay, no, actually. We're not going to switch it over to wood. I'm just going to get the wood off this conveyor. And get it back to doing... Everything else. Okay. You are... Okay, so now what we're gonna do is I'm actually going to... 
disconnect the power from these because I kind of want them to have their own sort of power set up. And they're going to be the first only thing hooked up to power right now. Which one is still running? They're out. They're out. They're out. They're out. Okay. And it just ran out. So. We have no power. Did this actually make anything? It did. It made eight solid biofuel. The reason we want the solid biofuel is that it is much, much more energy dense. It is, in fact, the best fuel source for this stuff. So, um, I don't think... Here we go. So we're only pulling 1.4 megawatts. I'm going to go ahead and turn this down to, you know, 1.5. <laughs> and just let that run for a while. So I might actually let this go. Um, I think I'll let this go off camera for a little while. Because all I'm going to do is let this make the solid biomass. And then fill these up with the solid bi biofuel pellets. And the reason that's really, really important, um, I'll show you here. It's 10. So let me grab this and I'll run over and I'll show you why that's important. So I have just leaves. Let me take one leaf and I'll put it in one of these other generators. So one leaf burns for, you know, two, three seconds. So yeah, we burn through 80 a minute to make fuel. Okay. That's pretty quick, right? Now, if I turn some of them into biomass, and then I stick them in here, we burn through a, a little less than seven a minute for the same power output. Not bad, right? But now, if I turn one into one of the solid biofuel pellets, and of course you can only make four at a time, but, but these burn at a little less than three a minute. So you really do get an amazing return um, out of doing all this all this work. Oh. Um, please, thank you. And I need to slow you down. There we go. So it's making 30 biomass per minute, is that right? Yes means I need to slow this one down to where it's taking 30 per minute. So let's do that. There we go. So we're making 15 a minute of the solid biofuel. So it's going to have to run for a little while. Um, but at the same time, so as I was kind of, kind of hinting at earlier, um, we're making way more power than we need now. Or we were. Why did it drop to zero? Oh, because I'm not quite making enough. So. There we go. Perfect. So, there we go. 1.8 megawatts to do all that. So, this is going to be... It, it's going to be a little while. Um, so, I will meet you all back here in a little bit actually no we are right at the half hour mark so 
you know what, folks? I'm actually going to call it a day here today. Um, got a lot done um, over the last two episodes. Got the copper set up. Got a bunch of stuff researched in the MAM. Um, upgraded our power production. Um, added in a building that makes uh, reinforced iron plates. And we're working on getting the building that makes rotors put together. So we're doing all right. I hope everybody has a fantastic evening, day, whatever you're headed into. Um, and please, uh, don't hesitate to leave messages, um, ask questions, suggest other games even, in the comments. Thanks everybody so much for watching, and I'll see you next time.